Thanks for checking out my Wix blog tutorial for beginners. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a blog on Wix. It's very easy to do and let's not waste any time. Let's get right on into it. So once you've logged into your Wix account, what you want to do is click on create new site at the top right right here. This is going to come up and pretty much ask you if you want to bring your ideas to life with AI. We don't really need to. We're going to be doing a blog and Wix has plenty of customization and templates when it comes to creating a blog in the first place. So let's do setup without chat. All right, and a blog is actually already chosen there. So I'm going to click on that so it showcases blog and click on continue. All right, so here you want to give it a name. I'm just going to be using my channel name, Marketing Island, and then blog. It's up to you. Put whatever you want there. Click on continue. For this, our main goal is going to be using a blog. I'm not going to be talking about anything else here when it comes to selling services. So if you do want to check off any of these, feel free to, but I'm going to keep it pretty bare so that it's just a blog and a blog only. Continue. And similar to what I just talked about, I don't need an Instagram feed in this, but we do want a blog, so make sure that is already checked off, which it should be. And finally, click on continue. Okay, continue to dashboard. All right, so now comes the fun part where we can begin on designing thanks to a great template that we're going to pick. So click on design site at the top right. All right, and once again, I feel like we don't need AI for this. There's plenty of great blog templates. So I'm gonna click on pick a template. And just because I'm doing this doesn't mean you can't generate with AI, just something to keep in mind, but we're gonna go with the template here. All right, and we're already under blog website templates. This is why I like just kind of going with what they have. And for me, I'm gonna go with something basic and simple. I like where we just have our logo and then underneath we're gonna have an area for blog posts, okay? So I have gone through and I have picked one already that I like. You are free to choose any of these that you want. I just want a simple one because I love keeping things simple like this. And another little note, you notice how this says fashion blog right here? Even if you're not fashion doesn't mean you just can't use this one, right? So you could be fitness, you could be music. This is all about finding a template that you like, and then you can always change it around, you know, adding your logo, adding your brand, and so on and so forth. Anytime you see one you do like, you can also click on view right here. And like I said, as simple as it gets, I love simplicity. So you have your main, just the name of it right here. You could do a logo, you have some social media, and then you just have your blog post, right? a bona fide straight up blog using Wix. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. And if you found a different one, that's fine, but let's just go with this one in this tutorial and click on edit the site. All right, so here's what our blog looks like, a very quick overview. I'm gonna zoom out to 50 so you can see it. We have our header right here. Now under this is gonna be all the blog posts. It's just gonna be showing some example ones until we create one. Then there's gonna be an email capture form, which I'm not gonna mess around too, too much with. And of course the bottom. So let's just say we wanted to edit the top and bottom so far, like with Annabelle right here. What we can do, this is gonna be the text. You can change this around like, you know, let's see, uh, heading one, sure, M Island probably make it a little bit smaller if you did want to add text. If you do want to add a logo, I'll show you how to do that as well. We can go to add elements. We can go to image right here and we can do upload and then upload images. So I uploaded my logo from my computer and I'm just going to simply do add to page. All right, great. It is going to be covering it. Not a problem at all. What we can do also, let me just move this. Okay. We don't need to see these. You can click on the original text and just do backspace and it will delete it for you. Now we can drag this in and kind of center it and you'll know it's centered when you have that purple vertical line right there. What we can also do is take this bottom right here and kind of drag it up. We can even move this up a little bit more, maybe like right there. Probably want to move these up as well. Perfect. And we have our social bars in case you want those there. And in terms of the social bars, you can delete them, but in case you're curious about how to edit them, double click on it. And when you do, you're going to see Facebook. Where does this link go to? Simply go to, you know, your web address there. Then you would go to Twitter, do the same thing, and then Instagram. For me personally, I'm just going to delete that by clicking on it and then backspace. Okay. So this can even probably go in the center if needed. Perfect. And we can move this up so there's not as much white space there. All right. So I think that looks great. Now let's scroll down a little bit more. We're going to have our bottom part. This is kind of like the aesthetic. So like I said, I'm not going to mess around too much when it comes to the like subscriber form there. That will be a different tutorial if you need help with it. But if you click on the subscriber form, you can just simply do delete. All right, and what I also want to do is just move this container box, move it up a little bit higher there. And now we can move that so it fits so much better. If you ever wanted to change anything around here, you could say you can do contact. I'm going to type in contact right here. And what we can do is highlight this. Let's go right here. And then what we want to do is go to link. 
And you can make it very easy actually to send an email. What's the person's email address? Let's just say it's james at marketingisle.com. What's a catchy subject line? Hello, good sir. Don't send me an email that says that, please. I won't open it. <laughs> it's just something random, okay? And when you click on done, that's a great way of someone contacting you directly. They just get straight to the uh, like their inbox where they have that email and the uh, actual subject line there. If you want to go to anywhere else, you can do web address, probably want to do a uh, new window, the URL where they're going to be going. If you want to go to a specific page, you can do that as well. But that's the basics of creating a link. So that's going to be that. We now have our header and our footer. Oh, so basic, but I like it that way. Let's click on save just to show you how. So you can click right here. That's going to be fine. You can use your free one for this. And great, don't show this. I'll show you how to publish it once we actually get the first blog post up. So now what we wanna do is actually go to the blog post settings section. This is gonna be where you keep adding your blog post in. So you'll notice when you hover over the blog feed section right here, there's gonna be a spot that says manage post. This is gonna be what you wanna click on and you're gonna to wanna to get used to this because you're gonna be clicking on this quite a lot. So manage post. All right, and as you can see, we don't have any posts yet, despite the fact that it showed some, those were just examples like I said before. So let's do create new post. All right, and normally what you can do is add your title and then of course write all of your blog posts. That should be pretty self-explanatory. So instead of me going into ChatGPT and just writing one as an example, we can do some AI suggested post topics right here. So for this, building a brand story that captivates your audience. Let's do write with AI. Uh, sure, that looks fine in terms of uh, describing the topic. Word count looks good. Number of images. Uh, we'll do zero. I guess we could do one, see what comes up with. We don't know if it's going to be great or not, but we can always add more. There are some other preferences there. Standard. Sure, that looks fine. Any point of view looks good. And of course, we have title. Suggested titles. Give it a second. Let's see. Crafting a compelling brand story. A fresh approach to engaging your audience. I think that one's fine. Let's do create post. So let's give it some time. When it's done, you're not gonna have to wait. I'll get back to you. All right, so here's going to be the article that was created. I'm not gonna go ahead and read through all of this. You know, that's not the point of this. Ideally, I'm sure you know how to create a blog post, right? It's just like anything else, whether you have a website, whether it was on WordPress or anywhere, you know, you're just gonna be typing in, adding. You have all of the stuff that you need up there when it comes to paragraphs and bolding and font size and so on and so forth. Now, there are gonna be some other settings you're probably gonna to wanna to utilize. So this is the AI post creator. Obviously, if you go back to that, you're just gonna showcase what it was showing. But you're probably gonna to wanna to use are these settings here. So there's gonna be a featured image. If you don't have one, Wix can allow you to use them. So if you click right here, and as you can see, I don't have too many, but you can explore media from Wix, Shutterstock or Unsplash, which are kind of like royalty free images. So let's just say we wanna do social media, maybe brand, just kind of words related to that. Let's see, how about something like this? Let's go with this. I'm gonna do add to page. And that's gonna be the featured image. It is a little bit stretched there. We'll see how it looks once we actually publish it. So alternate text, that's gonna be based on the picture if we wanna do that. An excerpt, so we could look there and just see if there's anything we want to use for that. Related posts, we don't have any yet, but you can always change that. Allow commenting, do you wanna feature this post? Usually the like the best one is gonna be the one you wanna feature, so it says, can be displayed anywhere on your site using a post list. So usually the ones that are the hottest that maybe a lot of people wanna read are the types that you wanna feature, so you can do that if needed. We're gonna have categories right here, so let's create a category. This is based upon, let's see, brand. Okay, let's do that. Let's say branding, and we'll do check mark. Okay, if you ever wanted to create other ones, you can do that too. So create a category, let's just say like social media. I didn't get to look through this and see if it showcased that, but it could be related to it. And if you didn't wanna use it, you can just do that. There are gonna be some tags here. So this could be say like once again, uh, branding, enter, right? And then we can do storytelling just kind of what it's related to, okay? I'm not sure if the storytelling is in there. Once again, those are just examples. We do have some SEO aspects right here. So allow this post to get indexed, add an image or video, pretty uh, straightforward, write a meta description as well. So this is gonna be where the meta description can be. But before we do that, I wanna show you how you can actually add some things to this. Let's go back over here, let's do add. This is gonna be where we can utilize images. So for example, if we hit enter here and we can do image, and this is going to be where we can add some more. So media from Wix, let's just say, let's do social media. I'm just going to do something related, right? Let's say we're going to add in this, add to page. 
Okay, and you'll notice where we put our cursor and that's where it's gonna be where it shows up. Now, if we wanted to say add a video, what we can do is the same thing. So let's say this would be a good spot for it and we can do add, we can do video. And what I did is just get a URL of a YouTube video that I did recently. It's the, not super related, but it's AI. So I'm just gonna do embed video here, uh, showing you how to get some good headshots when it comes to using AI. Just showing you an example. So maybe your target audience is someone who is interested in software and AI. So that's a video that could be related to it, okay? It's kind of like a drag and drop builder here where anytime you want to add something, this is going to be the elements that you can utilize. Ideally, you just want to make sure that your cursor is set in the right spot. You can also do a forward slash right here and you can just, you know, another way of adding in something that you might need. So overall, very easy to do. Okay, and when we went to the SEO settings, okay, we didn't have our meta description. So this could be where you add it in. I'm just gonna take a random blurb of this just to kind of fill it in to satisfy it. Sure, let's do apply. Okay, allow this post to be, let's see, indexed. Okay, and what we can do is allow indexing for entire site. After you apply this feature, the entire site can be indexed and could appear in search results. Are you sure you wanna allow indexing? Absolutely, very big deal right there and clicking on apply. So all of those are pretty much good to go. Last but not least, once we have gone through and created our blog post, we can click on publish. All right, great post has been published. So I'm gonna exit out of this and this, as you can see, it is going to be good to go. Now there is something else that we need to do in order to actually see it. We have to publish our website. Now we saved it before, but we didn't publish. Those are two different things. So let's click on publish and perfect. Last but not least, I'm just gonna click on view site. All right, and so there we are. We do have our logo at the top. You're gonna to see we also have some of the specific posts or the categories based upon them. So crafting a story, that's going to be the video, which you can click and watch if needed. And of course, underneath that is going to be just the bottom part where we had contact. You can click on it as well, and it will open up the specific blog post as well. But nevertheless, that's going to conclude this uh, Wix blog tutorial for beginners. I hope you got some value out of this. I just wanted to create a clear and straightforward way to get up and running so that you can just create your blog posts. If you ever wanted to add anything else to your Wix website, you can, of course, when it comes to the drag and drop editor, but I hope you got exactly what you were looking for. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it all the way to the end of virtual high five for you, I will leave a free gift in the description. And if you click the link, you can get a free resource that can help with building and growing your digital business, if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.